And continuing Resident Evil 7 or Resident Evil Biohazard, however you want to call it. And there's an item box and of course, which is a staple for Resident Evil series. And this far I could say that the game has remained very intense. Oh. Combine. Oh, apparently I can now uh, find components for goop juice. And um, maybe make me even goopier juice. Goop boop goop goop juice or goop juice. Which, in a sense, that doesn't feel to be ex particularly. Yeah. And there's lockpicks, but I don't know how they work. Oh, yeah. Oh, phone rings. You did good, Ethan. Zoe, right? What the fuck are you? Shut up and listen if you want to stay alive. You gotta get out of that house. It might be a way out through the main hall. Alright. Oh, and that thing on your wrist is a codex. Don't lose it. It's important. <sighs> Hell of a girl. Well, it's the Resident Evil way of showing your health. Let's just try to be as. Go as carefully and do the main hall. From there, I can't get there. How in hell do I even open this? Oh, shit. It's it must be some kind of item I must find to uh, and some sort of bubble bubble head or how you wanna call it. There has to be a key item or something to which I can find. Yeah, he does look a bit smug. and everything like that makes a real, a real unset unsettling wipe and it's also quite nice detail that they made it so that your character has a shadow so you really can get spooked by your own shadows hey, over here. well he appears friendly Good 
right. What am I going to do with a knife? A uh, knife can be used to do lots of things. Like, get some goop juice. And the police officer apparently was actually quite reasonable. He didn't want to give us a gun because that skepticism and the suspicion he showed is completely reasonable and sane. But he did help with a knife and this is quite sturdy looking knife. So let's just get in and open this and open this. And this must be a garage, all right? Hey, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Now, first, you need to tell me what you're doing out here alone in the middle of the night. Me? What about you? No, it's my job. Why don't you do your job and tell me? Answer my questions. You're not gonna believe me if I told you. Try. Hey, put that door open. Put that door open. Oh, hey. shit. Oh. Oh. oh, God damn, that's nasty scene. <sighs> I think. Well, now he does give me his gun. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, oh god damn it, oh, the geezer. And the guy who takes a bullets to his face without even a fucking flinching can be called to be a real tough motherfucker. Oh yeah, he loves to oh, oh yeah, that's the button. Uh, well. Let's make use of the goop juice. What's that? And seeing still that that, that uh, I don't know what the caliber this gun uh, this gun is, but it's not enough of a caliber. But then again, against a man who can shrug off bullets to his face. Ah shit. Don't even think about it, buddy. And don't eat, don't you even think about it, but cramps. No, you are not gonna. Oh, oh yes, he's gonna. I'm gonna stab you to the fucking face. Oh shit, uh, it's leaking gasoline. Which of course went to fuck. And of course, w when a guy f uh, doesn't. Oh, fuck off. Ah oh, shit. And when a guy doesn't flinch about bullets to the face, he doesn't most likely flinch about from getting. Uh, Ah, uh, yeah, give me some goop juice. Come on, I'm gonna fucking stab ya. Yeah, that's massive burns all over the body. 
Well, as they said, fire purifies. Well, it should be able to kill anything. Oh! 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 God! Now that's you have to be a quite tough bastard to do that. Just sh sh shooting your own head off, just as a demonstration. Yep. Uh, yeah, there's ammunition. I wonder was that any kind of boss, some kind of boss fight? Well, it's suddenly... Uh, yeah, I'm certain that this is to, this is the component to open the front door key. Yep, it is. And the nice deputy was killed because I don't think he I even when you can uh, reattach your limbs with uh, with a uh, goop juice and stapler, I don't think you can. Uh, Reattach your brain parts, especially when the car has all car has also exploded near you. I'm most likely dr driven over, so yeah. But it looks like Mr. Mr. Jack Baker had way too much fun in that fight. Well, just. Well, let's just open that, just in case. <sighs> oh yeah, that's that block button. And of course, using boss fights as some kind of... And that's... Uh, I think he shrugs off hits to the face from a gun. Bullets. Uh, just as much shrugs off, uh, uh, massive uh, fire with gasol massive burns, and most likely shrugs off a bullet to the head either. So, I don't, there wasn't much of suicidal in him. I didn't shoot you. I merely stabbed you. And there was also another one over here for me to stab ya. And what kind of door mechanisms is is put to this place? That's you know quite of huge and cumbersome. Oh yeah, there's all kinds of components to be found. More of these. I wonder what are these? Are they used to something? Well, let's pick up the phone. Did my daddy give you a hard time? That's your father? He used to be. I'm sorry, but he, he, he's, a, he's dead now. <laughs> he just might be able to pull this off. What? Pull what off? There's something I need you to do, but I can't explain it right now. You may need some sort of keys to do it, but find a way out of the house. Okay. I'll be in time. Dog, what heads are missing? That's Cerberus, the door guardian. I would say the guardian of the underworld. And the Scorpio in that door. Pendulum of a clock. Living room. I do must say that the graphic design and generally Boys and Capcom have been working really well in this game to make this have this very unsettlingly filthy atmosphere. But it this part does not have 
really strong feel connected feeling about Resident Evil which is all about um, viruses and all that kind of stuff Ah, uh, damn it. And that's also some kind of puzzle. And they gave you a lot of different uh, achievements to get in this game. Uh, a room with a gun. Roof doesn't seem to be in a particularly great shape. Oh. Uh, let's see, is it the pandemic I must... E oh yeah, shit. <sighs> Alright, so, so you have to, there must be some sort of item to you put it there in a, in a, to wake that down and that's very that that kind of puzzle or solution happened already in the first Resident Evil game w with shotgun but it was well it was done with different way and there was all kinds of solutions and all right how did grandpa get here with her wheelchair there's no wheelchair ramp so she must have been carried here she doesn't look too good but then again, nobody in this place looks particularly good. <sighs> Evelyn, May 2nd, 2014. <coughs> yeah, I can smack things around. There's football helmets. Photos, books. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Was that the car at the garage fight? Ethan's own car? Most likely it was. And. But if there's one thing Resident Evil also is quite familiar of things, it's the the fact that uh, even a regular building or house or like a big house, country house, should is feels completely oh you could say almost irrationally large. Oh uh, yeah, more shutter shotguns. There's plenty of these coins. There's a cute billiard table. Mia. And some dog's head. I have an idea where to put it. Lucas. Ship washed up. And if I remember right, Bayou means some sort of swamp in in a, um, in this kind of rural area of America, or this America part of uh, United States rural areas. So, though it's not completely, you can say that they are not completely idiotic hillbillies. 
or at least they haven't started as completely idiotic m mentally deficient hillbillies I uh, sorry grand well grandma I, I can see you are still there quite relaxed but how in hell has she gotten uh, got upstairs uh, they, there is a very strong feeling of being Well, that that at least solves one pr part of puzzle at least a little bit further. Twenty missing. Midgif. Oh yeah, twenty. Oh, oh yeah, twenty sixteen. This. This happens more or less when, the, if I remember right, this game came out 2017. So it happens in, you could say, current day and age. Which is not bad uh, method of, well, which is not bad uh, at all. Somehow I don't trust that grandma. She appeared so unexpected. Uh, well, at first there was no that was completely reasonable why she was in a dinner table but why she is now there it's uh, it's unsettling you could say it might be the word and even though uh, i don't think there's any kind of huge monsters or that kind of things rambling about I am quite certain that there is some so something is about. Oh yeah, now I'm upstairs. Oh yeah, more chem fluid. What is this chem fluid? Help! Water is chemical fluid. It's actually quite important precursor uh, delivery medium. It's very useful chemical. So yeah, it's a bagged water. Herb. Why I have, and I do have very strong nagging feeling that something's about to. Is very, very much wants to attack me and kill me, and not in very any nice way either. Well, it this house does have the feeling of being a rural Louisiana house owned by the same family for quite a long time. Oh God! Ah, oh, damn it! What the hell is that stuff? It looks like some sort of greasy oil. Wooden statuette. Well, uh, that's mo that's very likely important, but I have no idea what it is or where it is important. Handgun ammunition. Uh, and uh, there's plenty of these coins. Yeah, disgusting mess of God knows what. Well, it's a real nice that they didn't actually make character voice all those. <laughs> oh shit, you! <laughs> oh damn it! As you can see, uh, as I can see, Which in a word means <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> Sorry, <sighs> well, well, luckily, and they don't. God damn it! Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, I did cut it out. All right. Well. Alright, 
So now he's uh, part patrolling around the bloody house again. Making me very unwilling to be go anywhere. Not particularly pleasant thing to be dealing with. Too many items. So I guess I have to go to some... Well... That also doesn't work. <sighs> hmm. Not pleasant. But let's just try to go and get the stash some items and oh yeah. does the map show where it is? Oh yeah, it's the laundry room. Stash some items and see all kinds of things happening about. Sounds like some sort of safety room music as well. I can combine goop tubes. Oh yeah, items. to save so I can well take some mental rest because this game is quite intense and knowing that now there's uh, Jack Baker is again uh, on the prowl despite taking a bullet to several bullets to the head but he doesn't seem to give up dying or start dying so saving continuing next time see ya